God, it worked. This is a Leica Q3, a fixed lens rangefinder style 60 megapixel full frame camera with a 28 millimeter lens down to f1.7 and it has a macro mode. If that sounds familiar, it should. It's actually the same lens as a Q2. Outside actually, it looks a lot like the Q2, but when you take a closer look at it, there's buttons in different places and some new little icons on the bottom that make you wonder what's that do? Also on the inside, you've got a new processor, a new sensor, improved burst rates, and now you have the ability to shoot 8K video at 30p. Let's take a closer look at it. Beyond the new 60 megapixel BSI CMOS sensor, the most obvious new addition is a 1.8 million dot tilting rear screen touch panel. The panel can swing out 90 degrees to allow photographers to shoot from the hip. Phase Detect Autofocus also makes its first appearance. And there's the introduction of wireless charging, but it will require an optional hand grip to make use of it. A new battery with a SEPA rating of 350 shots is also here. Along the side are new USB-C and micro HDMI ports, which can power the camera and plug into the external recorders respectively. And there you have it. Familiar on the outside with a few updates on the inside. And outside too. But the thing is, if you're watching this video, you're either already a Leica fan, or you hear a rage post about how expensive they are. And that's fair. I enjoyed shooting with the Leica Q3, but I also share some of your frustrations with things like, why does a thumb rest that's pretty helpful cost extra uh, for a camera that's already $6,000? But if you're considering the Leica Q3, you may be glad to hear it's a very capable rangefinder style camera with a wonderful lens. And most of all, it's fun. And I think that's the thing we sometimes forget. Cameras should be fun. And this camera is as simple or as complicated as you want it to be. So it's really just up to you if, to decide if $6,000 is worth the price of admission. Someone oh, I think they've realized we're here. Are you in there? Uh, okay, DP reviewers. That's it for this episode of DP Review TV. Be sure to visit dpreview.com for our initial review of the Leica Q3. And we'll see you next time.